This is the North Tower of the World Trade Center, seen from the north side on September 11, 2001. Just as it starts to fall, there are massive ejections of material at about the 98th floor. Many of us believe these are blasts from explosions that destroy the core columns, allowing the building to fall. However, those who accept the official government story claim we are merely seeing dust and smoke being pushed out the windows as a result of collapsing floors. It is hard to resolve this dispute directly because the core columns are not directly visible. Nearly hidden by all the spectacular ejections, one small focused jet of material has special significance. This little puff is not coming out of the window at all, but out of the corner of the building. Each corner of the building has two 14-inch box columns connected to each other by large steel plates and covered on the exterior with aluminum cladding. There are no corner windows. The corner columns are structurally significant because they connect the adjacent wall assemblies and give the building three-dimensional stability. If anyone wanted to demolish the towers, the corner columns would be natural targets. The fact that a jet-like puff emerges from the corner of the building is evidence in itself of an explosive charge, but there's more. Notice that as the surrounding structure descends, this little jet, as it plays itself out, remains fixed relative to the original structure of the building. It does not move down with the falling walls and floors. This suggests that we could be seeing the work of a cutter charge strapped to a column. As the roof line moves down past the 98th floor, a surviving column is seen protruding upward from the debris cloud. It sways outward, but it does not fall for several seconds. Note that the top of this column exactly matches the height of the little corner puff. Careful measurements confirm this impression. The evidence is mounting that we are seeing not only a cutter charge in action, but the very column that is cut. The column sways, but it does not fall for a matter of seconds. Then it abruptly enters freefall. Again, careful measurements confirm this impression. What's going on below that allows the column to suddenly drop? There is another video aimed lower along the northwest corner of the building. Since we are looking for an event that happens at a specific time, we need to find some way to synchronize the two videos. Fortunately, there is an easily pinpointed event that is visible in both videos. When the column we have been watching starts to fall, it emerges from the shadows into bright sunlight. Then it falls back into the shadows again. The last glimmer of sunlight is visible as a bright bead on the end of the column. This momentary event can be identified in both video clips, allowing the frames to be synchronized. Looking at the lower video, we can see a very interesting event that correlates with the exact moment the column goes into freefall. Another focused jet cutting through the corner of the building. In fact, several ejections are clustered on the corner within a fraction of a second of each other. The hypothesis that we are looking at ejections of dust and smoke as a result of collapse is no longer viable. These events are helping to cause the collapse. It is clear that the focus corner jets are capable of cutting through steel. If what we are seeing is an example of explosive charges cutting through steel columns, then it is clear that explosives were used in the building. Once we recognize explosives were used, we can see the entire event through new eyes.